We've been talking about the authority of the forerunner, and another aspect of operating in authority is guarding that which God has entrusted to us. When God put Adam and Eve in the garden, he gave them dominion over the created things. He blessed them and he said to them, be fruitful, multiply, subdue the earth. He also put them in the garden to tend and cultivate it, as well as to guard and keep watch over it. One definition of to guard is to protect from damage or harm. It's interesting that from the very beginning, God prepared his first people for the enemy's encroachment on their lives and home. We all know the story. Instead of guarding the garden and even God's word in their hearts, they were deceived and they were tempted by the serpent. Now that Jesus has won back the authority the enemy stole from us in the garden, our original mandate is the same, to be fruitful, to take dominion where God has placed us, which means we need to keep guard, staying alert to any encroachment of the enemy, no matter how subtle it may be. Today, Forerunner, I challenge you to look around you and to look within you. Where has God placed you? What surrounds you and what do you have to watch over? Also, what has he placed in you? What seeds or words or visions or dreams? Have you been a guard over those as well? Has the enemy sought to steal and destroy them? Or have you let them die from your own neglect? You may need to take your post today, like the families in Jeremiah on the wall, You may need to prophesy life over those seeds once again. Let's pray today for all the saints. Pray that we would be alert and take up the position of a watchman over our lives and families, over all God has placed under our care. Let's pray that as we guard the seeds that God has planted in us, that this would be a season of the restoration and birthing of visions and dreams. Pray that as God's people take dominion, that God's light would dispel darkness in neighborhoods and cities of the earth.